Okay, this is gonna be a little bit redundant, but I do have to say that um, the, that point where there were two lights that were off and it was darker, um, which was I think for I-49 or actually, maybe I-435. The other light is also, I don't like this. <laughs> okay, anyway, the other, the light that was orange that was on is a cycling light. So it's also off some of the time as well. So actually at some point, all the lights are off at that, at that junction. The one that's um, west of Blue Highway, or I can't remember exactly how it's, what it's called, like Blue Highway. All right, so I am on 63rd and I'm going westward this time. This is Beacon Drive that I'm at. This hunting for purple street lights video um, 66 maybe. The other one I cut it short because I took the wrong I, somehow I took the wrong turn. I don't know how that happened. I still can't figure that one out. But somehow it went east instead of west. Um, anyway. Maybe the, well, the roundabout, but I don't think I went that far through the roundabout. I thought it went to the left. But I, I guess, so maybe I just went farther in the roundabout. I don't know. Gosh, if people were like, also people, there was some kind of toxin released or people are already suffering from like, uh, something in the water and they wanted to leave too. Like around, I wonder if roundabouts would mess them up. Anyway, we're not even quite at the area that we were before, I think. Uh, let's see, this is Manchester. So yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of footage of um, 63rd Street here, I guess, but that's fine. I definitely wanted to make that note. Oh, also, I, I'm not sure, I wonder if um, one of the lights that isn't really visibly purple, well, hardly at all if it is, um, is also a defective light. So there might actually be a total of five defective lights at Blue Highway and 63rd, but I'm not. I know there are at least four. Maybe at least five. I'm trying to remember now how many that were really obvious. So maybe there is there is six. I don't know. Okay, so there is a mercury vapor related light right there. Going into that lot or whatever that is over there. So now we're finally at Swope Parkway, and this is still even not as far as we were. So I'm going to let this video go a little longer, probably go with like 40 minutes or something like that because it's redundant material. Even though I liked, I would like to annotate everything, it's not, it's going to actually just take out more um, space. Like in the actual annotation space, so I might not do that. I'll just put like maybe just HG light or something like that, HGL, and then the coordinates just to be real short. Even though it may not actually be a mercury vapor light, sometimes I do that because it's still got the mercury vapor in it. That, yeah, it's greenish. I think I, I decided that I'm going to try to do five digits instead of four digits for the GPS coordinates because uh, when I do look at it, it actually does make it look like I didn't quite see where it was, um, and it's not exactly where it was. 
if I do four digits necessarily. I saw like one example of it and thought it was a, a good way to do it, but it's actually not. and actually try to figure out how large of an area that is when we're only down to four digits. But at five digits, it's pretty good. So That's why if you looked at my annotations recently, you'll notice I started doing five digits. six like that's like what you know, feet or not I'm sorry like inches or something like that seems like it works. okay so we're at about the point that we uh, turned off from before. We got all this construction again. Dirt. I don't know what road that is, but whatever it was, it's not a very good way to get anywhere anymore. And when I look at this stuff on a map, oftentimes I can see a reason why they might have done it. To limit where people could go. It'd be really interesting if somebody who's a traffic expert could look at it and see it. Because I would bet that they would find that it's disadvantaging in an evacuation. I think you can also watch, there's a newscast in Kansas City. If you look up Kansas City and construction on YouTube, you should probably find it, at least if you're local here. Where they tell us that... Uh, what is it, like 60 construction projects or something like that in Missouri? Um, and they're all, none of them are inside the, like, downtown or inside the city deep. As well, also something that they say. And just kind of like, it reminds me of what they said in Iowa, um, like an Iowa newscast about the Purple Lights, is that they're, none of them are inside, like, the actual city. They're all on the edges. Basically, I think hinting at the fact that it's kind of weird. You know, like maybe they, it has something to do with our evacuation routes, or something like that. If you watch it, the newscasts are never going to tell you exactly what they want to tell you. Almost never. If it's going to be conspiracy-minded, they're not going to say it. They also don't want to get sued, right? But I think that's what they meant. I didn't know about that video either. <laughs> and I said, what I said, what I said in like video eight or nine, I said, Kansas City news stations, please do a Purple Street Lights like video about the cones and construction in the Kansas City area. But they already did one like three or four days after I moved here. That was different, a different color than the other lights. Not this block on the right, but there was a block before. Now we got road work ahead. I don't know what color it was, though. It could have just been a regular color light, LED light. Um, purple and green, or really deep blue and green lights on the right. And we got green. We got cones on the left here. Somebody doing something on the road there, like cleaning it or something. Okay, more construction here on the left side. Oh, now we're at Warnall, and it looks like okay. Go straight. Down. 
so we can get a look at what this looks like here. Wow, even over there, there's like a lot of stone and stuff like that in the lot. Doesn't exactly look like a gas trap right now, but just say it's a lot of the damn stuff going on, guys. Oh, and also if we go south of here, there's more of it down there too, somewhere. I believe, or that's just connected right to this construction. But I remember seeing something here or south of here, which is north of 75th Street. So, like by Aldi at 75th Street, they still had cones there last time I was there, which was maybe a week ago, just over a week ago. So we got hurdles. Looking to the left, I don't see anything right now from here. But I think there was a digger over there before. Got a hurdle over here, like one of the signs. Pennsylvania. There are some green lights on this house here. So it's almost 3 a.m., which means I only have like, what, two and a half hours to go through a whole bunch of, uh, I want to go through mostly neighborhoods, actually. I'm kind of thinking, actually, I wonder if it's better to just do the neighborhoods, like just drive through them before um, trying to check individual LEDs, but I may not even get to those. Um, there are at least a couple I want to check. Um, I see a possible purple light over there because it's oh no it's cycling never mind those are cycling lights also though there is a construction sign though if you zoom in so it looks like they have some kind of road work over there this is Ward Parkway oh I see more hurdles and stuff between Ward on the from this perspective at the left to the left which is east so at some other point, maybe we'll look at that, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna take this to Shawnee Mission, eventually become Shawnee Mission, and then I'm gonna connect to uh, K7. Um, this is a cycling light or a mercury vapor light right there. It just happens to be right here, at State Line Road. It's hard to imagine that being for an aircraft, right? I mean, it's kind of dim, but I still, I don't know what it's for, guys. It's there, though. I don't know if it emits some other kind of signal when it cycles or what. I know that mercury vapor lights, um, mercury vapor tubes existed before, and they probably rarely exist now. And I think it had something to do with, like, basically exciting enough filament in there, and, uh, electrons being excited and easier to move with, I don't know, maybe lower electromotive force or something like that. Not exactly sure how that works for like another current path that also goes through it. But they need three leads for that. But I don't know if that does anything else or how, I don't know the physics of it, but I'm kind of curious why you find those kinds of lights and even cycling lights in those locations if they have some kind of function.
same thing as like a, I know transformers can step down the voltage and ha allow higher current if I remember right, or vice versa. If it's that kind of thing, or what. so maybe there'd be more current, Some more electrons available, or what? I also think mercury vapor lights they can handle like a really high wattage somehow. I think that means that energy goes somewhere. I guess the light. <laughs> I think it goes to the light. But and the other lights also light up, so I don't know. <coughs> it emits it in the ultraviolet spectrum. Okay, so we got a road closed here. This is at Mission. Um, I'm surprised they would even say that now because I thought they were paved, but maybe they're doing something else or they're moving along on the towards this area. I have no idea, guys, but it says road closed at least on Mission. There. And then we're too far north to be by 133rd Street. So this is like 63rd. So. They would definitely be talking about something near the construction there was before the road work. Also, I see some orange ahead of us here too, eventually. That's interesting. So it's 3 a.m. approximately now. To the right, I do see some cones on the left side by that stoplight down there. Whatever intersection that is. I would guess maybe like 10 cones or something like that on the left. And two groups. This is Cedar. Take a right or a left, and I don't know which direction it's going to be 63. Um, I'm going to take a guess that it's left, though, because to the right we have something that doesn't say 63, it says something longer than that. Over there. Okay, so we're taking a left. Yeah, this is 63 right here. I think I just saw a meteor. Maple. I see. No, never mind. Some, something, some zero. Okay. Reed is to the left. We're going to take this fork and stay on 63rd. Okay, never mind. Apparently there used to be a way to keep going straight to the right there, but they, on the median, they, I guess, must have made a median there. 
they have little um, orange diamonds there. Yeah, ask yourself why certain things are the way they are, though. Like, I could go down the list, guys. Some stuff. When you think of something conspiracy minded, write it down. Like, if you wonder something, you're like, that's really weird. I wonder why they do it that way. Just start writing them down. Like, why you can't take your battery out of your phone anymore? Is it so that, that something can be downloaded all over the place on people's phones and their phones would be useless? Or what? Why you have to let updates continue on your computer anyway, even if you don't want them to. Like it will basically just start your computer for you and just kind of do it for you. And maybe your computer won't even connect it to the internet for some reason if you don't. Like why is that? That's not better than it used to be, right? That's worse. Those, those are real enough questions. A lot of people are just lazy and they're just like, well, I don't know. I want, you know, maybe you have a family or maybe you just don't want to stay single or whatever you're just like well i don't know i don't have time for that shit, right well, let's just see what happens eventually here though in the world because i'm pretty sure it's not gonna be very good like starving or just like people dying all over the place by design um like and if you do have a family you should wonder like how you're gonna be a man with that like how are you gonna be a man with that Okay, let's see. Oh, 63rd here. No? All right, how do you get on 63rd, guys? All right, I'm gonna take, sh oh, this is Shawnee Mission Parkway. Okay, cool. I didn't zoom enough in on the map to see if they don't actually connect this. Okay. To the right, it's really dark, by the way. There's no lights over there. I don't or there are lights that are off. I have no idea. But it's also that way right here, so there probably aren't any lights. I mean, so we got a digger there. More of it. Oh, right here, too. I guess we also we got a digger over there, and we got some road closed over here. This would be Santa Fe, I guess. <coughs> Not the same Santa Fe, though, that we'll see a little bit later. Well, I guess it probably connects to it, but it doesn't. It's not 135th Street. Anyway, to the right, I don't see any indication of construction, but there's not. Oh, I guess there is a road over there. Looks like we can't take a left here, which means they can't take a right onto this. Does that even go anywhere? No, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. Um, I don't know if there's a way to cut through the lot, though. Back there somewhere. Or over the grass. Okay, we still got more of that stuff. Right here. I think, actually, at 30 minutes on this video, I'm going to stop it and start another one. This is probably enough to entertain this video. More. It looks like we're good on that road, but we still got cones anyway over here.
This is uh, Goodman here, and I see some hurdles. Actually, at least on the side block, there's a hurdle. says road work ahead though never mind we're not out of it we're gonna have more of it here yeah we have a hurdle this is interesting guys i mean 63rd isn't necessarily like right by the edge of town but still for They decide to do it a different way and not actually kill a bunch of people. Even though it looks like they have that other way set up anyway. We have a hill like full of rocks over there. see some diggers way down there. Looks like there's maybe some business construction down there too. To the left. Um, this is finally we're at I-35. Seems kind of dark here, but maybe it's because those LEDs aren't uh, right there in the corner for some reason. see that it's yellow but it didn't I wonder if some of the LEDs are starting blue on it anyway. I think I should start another video. We have so much stuff to entertain in this now, actually, that I'm going to stop and start another one.